So this is gonna be commented travel journey to London, moving back to London, and I have my vlog ready in my laptop, and I will go through the clips, and I will tell you the story, story time behind, and the fact, and yeah. So we'll come in London with me, and now let's have a look how I got here, because it was not easy, it was not easy. I'm going to test it for COVID. <clears throat> and I'm kind of anxious what was going to happen. I've heard from others how painful that is, and no doubt I was scared. But it was just a fear, and I would say people dramatize everything and anything, and then everything seems much worse than it actually is. So if you have to be tested, just calm down, it's all right. I think if you are going to dentist, that is path to hell, but this, no, don't be drama queens, alright, don't be drama queens. I am negative. here guys <laughs> I have to start selling clothes my wardrobe is the day has come um, okay yeah I think there's no no way back there's only way back to London za małe to rozwinkę po prostu. Jak se cítíš? Ty jak se cítíš? <laughs> Smíšené pocity. A ah. snažím se dělat, jako se mě to netýká. Je tak, ty se mě to ne... No. A ono mi to docvakne, no, ještě. No, to, to taky, no. So, everything we needed for our flight back to London was negative COVID test, passenger locator form, then something that works as a permission uh, that you can travel to United Kingdom. So, for us, it was student confirmation letter and then confirmation of the order of COVID kit test because we had to uh, do the order before our flight. And the most important thing, positive mindset, that everything's gonna work out. Woo, woo, woo. Someone is excited! Oh, oh, yeah, I'm nervous, I'm too nervous, but yeah. I'm just after check-in, but I'm waiting for Apple and there is some problem and I'm really not comfortable with this. Uh... We fucking made it to London, so please, please, no problems. We did everything. Oh my god. Oh. Imagine you land in London and someone just tells you like, Bye, off to Czech Republic. Do you... I am British. I'm British. I'm British now. Such a hot weather. <laughs> Do you want to unpack that a little bit? Everything good in the other Yeah. At least, yeah, yeah. At least a bit. Yeah. I'm just like, hello, I'm here with Ellie. <laughs> 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 That's absolutely fine. How do I leave though? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. We are free. Woo! I'm just <laughs> realizing that we are really here. Yeah. It felt so weird. Oh it my feels... god. After exhausting travel journey with coffee, 
we finally reached the point Pothole. Welcome to Pothole <laughs> and Riddle Hall. No, this is a horrible angle. But you don't know any yeah, what did you leave in there? <laughs> story time. The first night, I got kicked out of my flat, out of my room, by my keys, because um, they stopped working, they were not updated, like this. That was not updated, so you can't get into your flat or room, that means sleeping on the floor, yes. <laughs> Apple was almost ready that she's gonna have a roommate for the first night, but around midnight, we managed to get me into my flat, into my room, so I could spend my first night in bed. Um, next morning, even better, full of blessings. So, let's start with the story. Um, when you think that the hardest part is to get to London, to UK, um, no, no, that was not it, that was nothing. <laughs> As I said previously, we had to order a COVID kit, and that's like a package. <laughs> no package. <laughs> that just reminds me of packages that we ordered in September when we moved here. Like you have a package for your home, for your kitchen, and package of uh, some noodles. Yeah, now you have a package of COVID tests. So we needed the COVID kit because we had to be tested on the second and the eighth day of our quarantine um, by ourselves. Yeah, you, you do it your own. But most of all, <laughs> we needed them because if you don't order them and if you don't have them and if you don't do them, um, there are two options. First option is, if you don't have COVID kit test or if you don't do the test, uh, you will be fined £2,000, or second option, you can end up in jail. So obviously we did it, we did everything right before the flight. Whoa, 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 what happened? Apple's payment wasn't done, that means no COVID kit and my package was delivered before my arrival. My tests were delivered before I was even here. I was on a plane and they tried to deliver it to me. I don't know why they knew that I'll have that flight. They wanted to know everything, but still they delivered it before. And yeah, when they found out I'm not here, they just took it back. Um, well, perfect. We found a number finally to that CTM something company that that provided this and she tried to call them for one hour. Nothing. So then I came to her room because she couldn't cope with that and I tried to solve it somehow and I decided to call to Czech Embassy if they can help us. That woman was incredibly nice, yeah, she was lovely and she told us that we are not the only ones who had those problems. Like so many students um, uh, also had problem with payment, but the difference is that they couldn't enter UK, but somehow we could get in. So she told us she found another number that we can use. Um, so we tried that one, that didn't work. So then I decided that I'll just go through all, all, I don't know, possible telephone numbers that you can find on internet that are related to that company. And I found something like a private customer service and we tried to call this and someone answered. So then she told us we should do a rebook as if you arrived today. And uh, I used my card because Apple is just didn't, didn't work. So Apple just bought me a coffee as a as a thank you gift that I saved our asses. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Can someone tell me what f***ing day is it today? So now 
how to end this unforgettable travel experience. I would say me doing COVID test on my own. Uh... <coughs> the brainless Jane. <laughs> nice to meet you. So finally we are here and everything we had to arrange is finally done. So um, it was worth coming back, definitely. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like actually, what it takes if you want to travel nowadays, especially to United Kingdom, because we are not the only uh, international students and uh, I know so many Czech students here and probably most of them are still back at home, so if those restrictions will remain the same, then now you know for what to prepare. Anyways, welcome to London, welcome to my room, and I just have to set it up a bit and prepare the room and me <laughs> for recording myself, because it's uh, a new place. But I can't wait to start making videos here in London, and just come up with some ideas. So I hope you will enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up and can't wait to see you again. Um, stay safe, um, take care and yeah. Bye!